Although these are just milliseconds, such a simulation takes for months and months on a supercomputer. And you now see at some point as they come into contact, so this is here, so now really like stars, nearly like kissing. And now you see this type of material is ejected and this is where the heavy elements are formed. So this is the stuff that produces then these things like platinum and gold and so on. I have been simulating in, in a lot of detail what happens in terms of the physics when these neutron stars merge. So what are the gravitational waves? What is what elements are formed, what type of other particles are produced. And we have been making predictions like how would that look like electromagnetically. And this is now what our observational colleagues have now seen. This is actually about connecting several themes in astronomy. So it's gravitational waves, which is completely new, this year's Nobel Prize. It's electromagnetic radiation, which is normal light. So for the first time we actually found the thing that was sending out the gravitational waves. And it's about nucleosynthesis. That's where the elements are actually created and born. So we know that these things are not all connected. They all come from neutron stars that are colliding with each other. So these are really, really extreme conditions. You have densities that are higher than what you have in an atomic nucleus. And you have temperatures which are more than 10,000 times what you have in the sun. And this is, was for decades like the holy grail, like see an event in gravitational waves, see them in radio, see them in what are the electromagnetic wavelengths. And um, it confirms a couple of purely theoretical ideas. That is the one thing why this is beautiful. But the other thing is it's really like that has been said also quite a, well, a number of times in the context of gravitational waves. It's really like opening a new window. Now you see things that you could not see before.